Hey guys, Curry here from twitch.tv slash Curry1 and youtube.com slash Curry1Gaming. Today, let's talk about dextery, but this time, let's talk about recording. AKA, you want to use a fraps-like utility, but you don't want to use fraps. Well, dextery has that, so if you already have that, or if you're interested in getting it, this is one more reason you should get it. So first of all, I'm going to start in the movie tab in the middle. I know it's kind of weird starting in the middle, but just bear with me. So on the right side, I already made a video which should be annotated in this video right now telling you how to set up the right side and get all these things configured and what all these various options mean. Go check that out before you do this if you don't already have it set up. If you do, let's proceed. So file output is the thing that we unchecked last time we were doing this video uh, tutorial. However, this time you want to actually have that checked. Now when you have file output checked, it means that it's recording. It means that it's saving it to your hard drive. And if you have direct show output checked, it means that it's going out to XSplit or it's going out to FMLE. It's streaming. So assuming that you're only going to be recording your game, all you need to have checked is file output. But if you're streaming as well, make sure you have both. Keep it on raw cap. You can include or not include your mouse cursor depending if you want to have people see your clicks. You can synchronize your video FPS if you notice FPS stuttering. I don't, so I keep it unchecked. And then you want to go to your codec. Now there's many codecs available if you know what you're doing. However, I keep it at the default DX Story video codec. And then you go to the right side and click the configuration button. Now when I first set this up, it was RGB2 quality. My hard drive could not handle the data rate transfer. It was ridiculously way too much data. So I changed it down to low quality. And I can tell you from personal experience, the difference is barely noticeable. And it's a lot easier on my hard drive. I keep it uncompressed because that keeps my CPU free to do other tasks. So make sure if you can't handle it at one of these higher quality settings and it gets choppy, just put it to low quality. It looks the exact same. So next we're going to go over to the folder tab. The first two are unrelated. So the folder tab, you need to add a new folder. You need to find what folder you want to save it to. So you can see my current folder path is E, users, my videos, DX story recordings. So let's go locate that really quick. And once I find it, this is where I'm going to be saving all my videos to. Now you're going to see this little clocky thing, a number, a checkbox, and a browse folder button. So once you find out which folder or, or folders, if you have multiple folders you want to save to, set, you go to this little benchmark button. Keep the top part's default. Click Run, and what it'll do is it'll test your hard drive's write rate in megabytes per second and spit out a number. Now, the great thing about the X-Story is it will track this. It will consider it when it's recording data, and it won't try and overbear your hard drive. Because the worst thing in the world is when you send too much data and your hard drive can't handle it, and it gets super choppy. Another big tip, guys, make sure that your folder you're saving to is not on the same hard drive as the game you're playing. So if I'm playing WoW, I want to have WoW on the D drive or the C drive or an F drive. I do not want to have it on the E drive where I'm recording because that will make it so that it's reading data from World of Warcraft and writing data at the same time. It's using like way too much data. The hard drive cannot keep up with it. You need to make sure you have different ones. Additionally, you can add more folders. So if I wanted to add a second folder on a separate hard drive, the cool thing about the X-Story is it can actually record in tandem. So if I happen to have a second hard drive, like if there was a G drive somewhere, I could have it recording to both and it would go file 1E, file 2G, file 1, or go back and forth in sequence. So you can record stuff even at really high quality, probably through that method. Next, make sure you have your hotkeys set up. Skip over movies since we already did that. And then audio. Now this is the beautiful part about DX Story, guys. This is where it really gets great in video editing in the post editing. So number one, it's gonna be already set up for you probably and it's gonna be your speakers. So make sure you have your right speakers chosen. I keep it default in PCM and I actually go down to the speaker settings. I go to playback devices, AKA your speakers. And I just take a look at the advanced and I take a look at the quality I have it set to and I try and keep it close to what my speaker settings are. I know it's not matching now, guys, but if you wanted to match it, you could. Just make sure it's matching whatever your speakers are, ideally. 
But the cool part is number two is going to be your microphone. So where one is your game sounds, your ventral low, system sounds and things like that, number two is what you're saying in your microphone. So what you're able to do in the post editing is actually split the files. You can split the tracks. So you can have everything that your teammates are saying or everything that the game is doing separate from if you're talking on your stream or if you're just talking in your microphone mindlessly. You can separate that and you can do a, like a post commentary over the video without having to worry about like filtering sounds or anything. So make sure you guys set up the audio portion of this. It's really great. The, can the screenshot thing is kind of unrelated. The advanced tab you'll see in my other video, and the last two tabs are unrelated too. Now the one extra step that you need to consider when you do this for recording is these purple buttons at the bottom. So if you click this, you'll see this giant box. If you actually have videos recorded, it'll populate some options. Now the buttons I use are the preview button, the black box with the play button in the middle. These two film reel buttons where it says build, that means that it's building your file to something that's actually viewable and this little trash can button, aka delete. So in case you didn't like your clip, you can delete it right from this box. Now what happens is you select a file, you preview it, if it's the file that you want to actually f start editing, you build it. Or if you know that all the files are good, build all files. And what it'll do is it'll take it from a raw version to AVI after the fact. So you're saving your performance while you're recording and you're making it an AVI via whatever compression methods they have after the fact, so your computer's not working two jobs at once when you're recording. So guys, that's how you record with DX Story. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any better settings or tips, please tell me in the comments below. And if you need any help, please do not hesitate, but please comment below. That way everyone else can see your questions and use your experience for their benefit. All right, guys, check out my other tutorial videos. Check out my other World of Warcraft and Let's Plays, and I hope to see you next time.